Hello, everybody. I'm Nightcat. We are playing The Secret of Monkey Island. Uh, we, in the last episode, we got most of the stuff we need to set up for the three trials. Thievery, treasure hunting, and sword play. We're going to start with thievery and treasure hunting first. We're going to go in the, back into the shop here. Uh, Ahoy there, fancy pants. Ahoy there. Oi. <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk to this guy first. What do you want? Um, I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. The Swordmaster of Melee Island? Hmm. Now, I don't know. See, nobody knows the whereabouts of her secret hideout. Nobody except me. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. <laughs> okay. And don't touch anything! So we're actually going to follow him. So, out and that way, and then he goes this way. And, okay, he's going that way. And we're actually going to go in that door there, which should pop us over to the other side of the street. Or, well, it should have. Oh, come on, really? Oh no. Okay, I think we might... Okay, you know what, let's actually go back. Start this over, I think we're, we're taking too long there. Uh, but if we go back in here and ring the bell, he'll come back. Oh, I should have known it'd be you again. The Swordmaster says you can jump in the lake, by the way. Well, maybe you could ask her again. Um, I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Look, I told you she doesn't want to see you. Maybe if you asked her again? Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Again. Be right back. For a crotchety old man, he's very helpful. And don't touch anything! Okay, so this time we're not going to try to use the door. Uh, usually... Uh, the doors, like, if you go through that door, you don't always come out on this side. There's another door over on this side right there that you can come out of, but we don't want to go there. So we want to go this way, follow the old man. There he goes. Past the scum bar. And he'll take us out of town. And we're just doing this just so that later we can have easy access to her place, uh, the Swordmaster. We can't actually do anything with her just yet. And out of town, if we go up over here. There we go. So there goes the Swordmaster. He's going to the fork in the road. And then that way. And that way we'll be back for these flowers. And they just gotta kind of follow him through the forest here. There we go. I think we're almost there. Nice. So we'll just follow him across the bridge. And there's the Swordmaster's hideout. I better just stay back here and eavesdrop. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on the uh, business. This kid, come into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike and don't come out here again. Someone might follow you, and then I'd become another Melee Island tourist attraction. <laughs> hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. Now scram. The old man is the greatest character. Um... <clears throat> So that's all we can do here. I think we can back out. 
Yeah. Um. So where was that? Swordmaster's place. So we can go there directly when we need to. Whatever you want, you scurvy lover. Uh, I'll be Sorry on my way right you. now. I'll uh, be on my way. Okay. Uh, we're actually gonna go back into the fork. And let's take a look at our map again. So back, left, right, left, right, back, right, left, back. Back, left, right, left, right, back, right, left, back. Okay. I'm gonna have to come back to this. But back. And then while we're here, we're gonna grab some of these flowers because those will come in handy. Back, left. And then to the right. And then I think it was right, left, back. No. So let's take a I look at our map again. I don't want to move it. There we go. Uh, left, right, back. Right, left, back. Okay. So left, right, back. Right, left, back. Left, then right. And back. And then right, left, back. There we go. And that should take us to the treasure. Right through here. Bam, there we go. Come over here. Here it is. The legendary lost treasure of Melee Island. This carefully reproduced piece of Melee Island history has delighted <laughs> thousands of would-be pirates and their families for generations. Remember, there are other pirates on this island. So go easy on the treasure. Leave some for the next person. I love that it's a tourist attraction. Here lies treasure of such unimaginable wealth. Well, you'll just have to dig it up to believe it. Paid for by the Melee Island Chamber of Commerce. Okay. Uh, so, we are going to use the shovel on the X. Well, this shouldn't take too long. He's right out of his shirt. Hours pass. <laughs> That's a great narrator. Hey, I think I hit something. Oh boy. It's a t-shirt. Not my size, but a nice one nonetheless. Well, I guess I should put all this dirt back now. <laughs> More hours pass. Okay, so we got the grand treasure of Melee Island. A beautiful t-shirt that isn't our size. Uh, let's... I think if we go back out, we just end up right back out. How do we get out of here? Oh, that way. There we go. Okay. Um... So, we got the treasure, we got the flower, let's go back to the village, and let's do the thievery. And that is over here. So we kind of got to go all the way back through. It would have been nice if there was a way just to get straight to the other side of town from here instead of having to walk all the way through, but it is what it is. There we go. And so let's go through this door, because that should take us right over to this side. Yeah, that's what I was expecting to begin with. There we go. And so the treasure, we have to go to the Governor's Mansion. The Governor's Mansion is this way. way over there uh and so we have these dogs over here that we have to deal with <clears throat> though they're kind of chained up it seems like we could probably get by them yeah okay so to get by the dogs we have to use the flowers 
with the meat. Uh, and that gives us... I believe they are now... We've basically drugged the meat. So let's give the meat to the deadly piranha poodles. They're not Important dead. notice. These dogs are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production of this game. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay. Um, let's go in. Okay, so we need to find... The treasure. A priceless Ming. Very nice. Anything over here? Uh, I can't look at that. Can we look at these things? Yeah. No time for reading now. Oh. Uh, we can go up here. Can we go through there? Hmm. This door appears to be locked. Okay. You can't use that door. We come down over here. No. Okay, so there's not a, not uh, actually anywhere else we can go. Now, let's look at the photo, or the p picture. I don't recognize the man, but he has a great hat. That is a beautiful hat. Let's go in here. Bum, bum, bum. This looks like a job for Fester's shine top. <laughs> oh, I forgot to look up the voice actors. <laughs> Hypnotize. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, not the red button. Oh, I'm pushing it. This is the most dramatic fight. Look it's a at Truman. Big, ugly, hairy yak wearing some wax lips. Wow. Push I tremendous. Can't move it. Okay. I can't move it. Can't pull it. Staple remover. Staple remover on tremendous, dangerous looking yak. <laughs> Okay. No, no, he's still under computer control. Pick up manual this. style. I must be nuts. Yep. <laughs> Pick up wax lips. Hack! Gophers! Gopher repellent? <laughs> and the funny little man. So there's not a lot kind of happening here. It's beautiful. On screen, it's all kind of in the background. Uh oh. Which is an interesting uh, decision, but it's actually. It was absolutely hilarious the first time I ever played this. That should hold him for a while. Especially if you're playing, you could. Only I had a file. I could get the idol. If only, especially if you're watching kind of the commands that the computer's inputting down in the corner there, with all the the weird things that it's doing back there. Uh, but okay, we need a file. Uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff now. We got some new things. We got the manual of style. Wax lips, go for repellent. I think it's some kind of religious text. <laughs> um, okay, so to get the file, we're going to go back over here. And we're going to go 
into this door. Talk to this dude. You gotta get me out of here! I'm a victim of society! Not to mention halitosis. Okay. Hey, it's hard to keep my breath minty fresh when there's nothing to eat in here but rats. Right, okay. So, we can't talk to him until we fix his breath. So we're going to go over to the store. And the shopkeeper should be able to get us some breath mints. Hey, where'd you go? I hike halfway across the island to try and get you a reservation with the Swordmaster, who, by the way, says you can go jump in the lake. And when I come back, whew, you're gone. See if I ever do you a favor again. What do you want? I would like... Breath I could really use a breath mint. Whew, you're telling me. Here, take one. Please. Take the whole roll. <laughs> That'll be one piece of meat. He still charges you. What okay. else do you want? That's all. Do you have files? Did you mean hanging files or nail files? Nail files. Ah. Sorry, fresh out of those. What else do you want? Uh, nothing. I think I'd just like to browse. Okay, but don't put your lips on anything. Oh, I am putting my lips on everything. You have no idea what I did when you were gone. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Um, so we go back over here. We got the. We can get uh, get talking to this guy now that we have some breath mints. Talk to death breath? No thanks. All right. Okay. So give. Breath mints to prisoner. Oh, Grago mint. How refreshing. Thanks. No so, problem. Have you come to release me? In a manner of speaking, uh, who are you? Who are you? My name is Ores. At least I think it is. I've been in here so long I can hardly remember. You gotta get me out of here before I lose my mind completely! Can't you see? I'm innocent! But why are you in jail if you're innocent? I was framed! I didn't touch the stupid flowers! What flowers? The yellow Konish in dormi flowers in the forest. It's against the law to pick them. I believe Kanish and dormi is... Sleeping dogs, a dog sleep something in, I don't know, maybe French or Spanish. Um. So, uh, how's the food in there? Oh, you know, the usual. Slop, grog, gruel, rats, bugs, and body lice if I can catch them. I have a carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made, even though she knows I detest carrot cake. Actually, the cookie at the bar is an old friend of mine, and sometimes he sneaks me food, like pork trimmings, mostly feet and lips. But once in a while, he brings this really odd rump roast. That's disgusting. I don't want to hear anymore. Hey, man, you asked. Okay. Would you happen to have a file? You think I'd be in here if I did? All I have is this carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made me. You can have that if you bring me something to get rid of these rats! I can't stand carrot cake. Okay, well, we just happen to have... Gopher repellent. I'm sure that would work on other rodents. Hey, this might work on the rats. Thanks! Here's the cake. Very nice. Now we have a carrot cake. Let's use the carrot cake. Uh, did we use it? Yes, we did. Now we have poor, poor Otis. Had a file the whole time. Uh, so back out. Let's head back to the mansion. We can use the file. We can get the treasure. I don't see anything special about it. Uh, don't look at it. Go in. 
There we go. Hmm. This door appears okay. to be locked. Can we go up here? I locked the sheriff in there. Okay. So I guess we have to jump through the hole. I don't see anything special about it. I've got the file. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's some more of this. Use manual of style with shredder. Give stylish confetti to heavily armed clown. <laughs> Throw wax lips in fire. Good move. Use file on rhinoceros toenails. Use file on lock. Pick up. Fabulous idol. And... Coming to the end. There we go. Looking good. Whew. That was a close one. At least I got the idol. But I'm not done with you yet. Oh no. Uh oh. Thought you could get out of here with the idol of many hands, did you? Look, I can explain. So can I. You poisoned the governor's pet poodles. They're just sleeping. Broke into her house. The door was unlocked. And stole one of her most valuable pieces of art. No, you've got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, let's hear your explanation. Um... It belongs in a museum. Ta! What's going on here? I Ooh. caught this hoodlum making off with your idol, Governor. He says it belongs in a museum. That's right, it does. What? You heard me, Fester. The real question is, how did he get in here while you were on guard? I, uh... Oh, just go away, Fester. I can handle this. Hmm. I'll deal with you later. Sorry about him. He's new. I'm Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley. Ooh. So my idol belongs in a museum, eh? Absolutely, whatever. Gosh. Relax, Mr. Threepwood. I know why you're here. Believe me, you're not the first who's tried. Although I have to admit, not many get as far as you have. Golly! My lookout told me of your arrival. I've wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. <laughs> Tell me, Guybrush, why do you want to be a pirate? You don't look like one. Your face is too... sweet. Aww. <laughs> I see. Well, you're obviously not in the mood for idle chit-chat, are you? I suppose you've got many more exciting things to do? I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Threepwood. So she is obviously the love interest. Oh. <laughs> Dwingly? Uh, I really wish I knew how to talk to women. So she is the, the love interest of the story here. Um... <laughs> I was I was not prepared for that sound Where effect. Where do you think you're going, Throom Wade? <clears throat> um. Excuse me, Mr. Shine Top, but you're blocking the doorway. I think you need to cool off. Hand over your sword. Uh oh. My sword. This is the end of the road, my little pantalooned pal. That's the worst idol Your ever. Troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too important and much too near completion. 
to risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake or Droop Face or whatever your name is. <laughs> hmm. This might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. Okay. Um, apparently, if you actually stay... like Remember back earlier, he said he can hold his breath for 10 minutes. Uh, so apparently, if you actually stay down here for 10 minutes, something happens. I don't know. That would be interesting to find out. Uh, there is an achievement for it on the Xbox, apparently. Uh, but we need to cut our line here. Let's start trying with the rusty knife, I guess. Rusty, but sharp. And I can't reach that from here. And I can't reach that from here. Okay, what about the cleaver? And I can't reach that from here. And I can't reach that from here. And I can't reach that from here. Actually, it's more like a fabulous doorstop. Um, we need to... I love how it's all right there. Uh, actually, it's more like a fabulous. Uh, we can't doorstop. do anything with it. We need to get out of here somehow. Do we have anything in our inventory? Staple remover. No staples to be removed. Hmm. Uh, I actually. Don't. I can't reach that from here. Broken bottle over there. Don't recall what we have to do at this point. No. Hey, Nick. I just committed a felony. Did it involve that big knife you've got there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What should I do with it? Well, get rid of it. I'll throw it in the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't do that. Oh. Why not? I need to ditch it. It might wash up somewhere. What do I care? My prints won't be on it. I'm throwing it in. Yeah. Eh, I might. Oh, it. come on. See ya. Really? See ya. Um. <laughs> I don't remember. Actually, it's more like a fabulous doorstop. How do you actually get out of here? Uh, can we push? I can't move it. Can we pull? I can't move it. Oh, well, there we go. I guess I'll be needing a sword. This one will do. And that's that. Though we did get to see that hilarious scene. Oh, that wasn't so hard. Yeah, so that was actually now worth all it. all I have to do is show this stupid idol to the pirate leaders and... You're alive! Governor! Hey, you can talk. <laughs> Who'd have known? What are you doing here? Come to finish the job? <laughs> no, I came down here to save your life. Festa wasn't acting on my orders when he threw you in there. Uh, you came down here to rescue me? I, I didn't even think you liked me. Well, our first meeting was a little awkward. You seemed to have trouble forming complete sentences. But then again, so do most of my citizens. But I'm not one of your citizens. I'm just a drifter. A nobody. A would-be pirate. Who would have known, or even cared, if you'd let me drown? I would have, Guybrush. Oh, oh Governor. Oh, Threepwood. Romantic music. Oh, Elaine. Oh, Guybrush. Love Muffin. <laughs> Sugar Boots. Honey Pumpkin. Plunder Bunny. Kiss me! <laughs> no, we mustn't. What? Not here, where everyone can see us. Why, are you ashamed of me? No, no, it's not that at all. It's just that many of these pirates have made advances towards me. 
and to avoid hurting their feelings, I've always told them that my father made me promise never to fall in love with a pirate. If they see us together, they'll know I was lying. Okay, then. Let's go to your place. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But finish your trials first. Aw. I don't want you to be preoccupied. But... I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials. <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> yeah. Let's get this done. Uh, in the next episode, that's probably all we're going to do for this time around, though. Uh, so, once again, I'm Nika. Thank you for watching. We've been playing The Secret of Monkey Island. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.